Thank you for clicking play. This is PK from the PK Comic Book 411 and I'm going to try to reorganize all my comics. Now, I went to a comic book store when I was younger, but that was for pen and paper uh, D&D. So I didn't really read comics as a kid, but two Januarys ago, I started off afresh right after I uh, made a military trading card game called Power. P dot O dot W dot E dot R dot Packs of War each rank. And you can find that at PowerTheGame.com. So let's go through this because I have a couple more long boxes to go through. Way back when, the NAM, man, black and white. That was certainly a title that was uh, highly sought after. I don't know if that was because of print runs or whatever, but man, I collected all of them till 20, 1 through 20, and now they're worth nothing. However, I was a big Moon Knight fan. That is, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the Batman analog from DC to Marvel. So, his, this is the premiere issue when he got his own uh, title. And that's one. Got two of those, right? And then I also wanted to show you 35 that features the X-Men and the Fantastic Four. So, I have, uh, it's not really a complete set. Look at that. Wonderful, right? Why would they do that? Why would anyone do that? Going all the way through, up to 25, 29, 32. So 35 is where I ended up on that. So that was the first Moon Knight title. Then there's the uh, Mark Spector Moon Knight. And uh, I only have two of those. Final Phase, which is 60. Don't know too much about that one. Then there's a Vengeance of Moon Knight, Heroic Age. Just have a 10 of that. And then a variant of 10, actually. And West Coast Avengers. Yep. Moon Knight was in that, so I have a couple of those. Four of those. Oh, Marvel Fanfare. What's going on there? I haven't read that in years. The Initiative. Man, this is really, really crazy stuff. I did not like it. And this is where I think Moon Knight started getting um, all of his insanity. Everyone's basing stuff on insanity. Actually, right next to this is the Bendis and the Leave one. I have this in TPPs as well. This is a really solid Moon Knight story. Um, highly recommended. Going back in time, we have Moon Knight. High Strangers. Really funky. Uh, I think it actually went up to four. Yeah, there's four issues here. Really, really funky story right there. Um, but then again, it was a different day, a different era. Fist of Conchu, Moon Knight. One, two, three, four, going up to six. Not sure if that kept on going, but uh, that's one through six of Fist of Conchu. Then I have one, two, three of the special edition. I actually have not read these yet. Picked these up recently. Didn't know about it. And finally, probably the most expensive or uh, comic that I do have is this Werewolf by Night first appearance. And all of this is silver, 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 silver to go against our friend. Uh, Werewolf by Night. Man, Jack Russell, I think it was. I think it really is Jack Russell. Anyway, I wanted to show you this. This just came out. Now it's in color. Instead of the uh, collection that was black and white. So this just came out. So I'm going to try to make sense of all these different Moon Knight titles. Um, and as I'm trying to organize these, what you're looking at right now is the old box. Like here we actually have the, I love this. The one and four, two and five, wait, three and four, four and a four. Oh, yeah, five and a five. Oh, okay. Everyone knows that, right? That's the initial series of The Punisher. Really, really great series. And I keep this in a se separate box, actually, along with Werewolf, Werewolf by Night. And, actually, with my Hawkworlds. Love Hawkworld. Timothy Truman. Um, and, just so you know, this TPB just came out um, of Timothy Truman's Hawkworld. It has that newspaper quality paper. I'm not a huge fan of that, but some people are. So those go in a separate <coughs> box, actually, in a BCW carrying box. This is Punisher's title. Um, 1 through 73. That's definitely not it. So I must have skipped around here. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 73. <laughs> uh, and then there's a couple of uh, Punisher 
appearances, Marvel Age. This is actually a, uh, a newer one by Guggenheim. That was a two-part issue. It, it, was, it was a pretty fun series about him going to court. Um, very standalone, though. Sort of out of nowhere. Um, so Marvel Tales. That has Spider-Man and then uh, featuring the Punisher and then Marvel Age. Just a couple of other ones I picked up. All right, moving on. As I was saying, I was trying to organize by chronology, like in times of eras of my life, as well as DC, Marvel, and, and the others. G.I. Joe Special Missions. There's a couple one-offs here that don't go together. But Order of Battle, I got all four. G.I. Joe and the Transformers. Bumblebee's not looking too good right there, right? And that is looks like i got four out of four there then transformers universe i got one through six missing five i'm also doing this for insurance purposes right people everyone should do this here's some really really old ones hell these must be my brothers i must have been four years old when this uh came out I'm trying to get out of that light there and defenders 44 it's all screwed up though people this light's killing me, isn't it? Uh, Battlestar Galactica 4. I got Incredible Hulk 211. Dracula 70. The Eternals 9 and 10. Quite honestly, I don't know too much about them. Um, so, we're going to move around here. Past the Moon Knights. And we got some fun. We got a couple of Silver Surfers. A ROM. 65. Thunderbolts 2. Indiana Jones. Smurfs number 1. Oh, come on. You love them. Ren and Snippy, number one, with the free air fowler enclosed. Police Academy, number one. <clears throat> Going over here, we start the uh, Infinity. So I seem to have popped over to a more contemporary titles. Yeah, Infinity, Heist, one through four. That's an okay thing to hunt. Nah, except for like Quentin Quagmire that is right there. Uh, I did not enjoy this at all. Uh, one through four on that. And Thunderbolts, 14 through 18. Um, man, as much as I like Punisher, I just, I don't, know, I don't know what they were doing with this title. And it did not connect to Infinity at all, as far as I'm concerned. But, what I always try to do, here's the FCBD of Infinity. And I tr always try to keep these, so I know not only the what I need to collect, but also the reading order. As you can see, like I have two ones of six here. And then it goes to... Uh, Captain Marvel, that's a tie-in, and actually this was a good tie-in. Uh, Avengers Assemble was another good tie-in. And then this one, this doesn't even have Infinity on it, but it should. Gardens of the Galaxy number six. This is big. This is when they introduced Angela that they got the rights from uh, Neil Gaiman, actually, was the first, the creator of this at Image after a lawsuit, and then Marvel bought it from image but in here is also when uh, star lord is having like a sit down chat with thanos it's quite an important one but i keep this here so i know that it's important but also that it fits into the infinity storyline avengers assemble avengers assemble captain marvel again as we go through all of infinities and here's some leftover tie-ins defenders and secret avengers tie-ins for infinity that don't really tie into infinity right um, and then I have an inhumanity tie-ins here very odd don't know why these are here so again I'm trying to organize these all of a sudden I have DC that popped into this bag of tricks here oh how about Phantom X one through four man I did not understand that I did not know that guy at all but I collected it just to see what what's going on again remember I started collecting in uh, January of 2013 sounds about right started going to Batman right before zero year and even got uh, one of the villains month here and that ends at 27 just didn't get into it people Avengers Arena I have the whole set one through 18 and I did not enjoy it now apparently it's because I did not read this and that's some pretty good work by uh, Brian K. Vaughn apparently so you need to read that to really enjoy that is what I'm told uh, again back to DC vibe 1 through 10 really liked it Cisco Ramon is now on uh, the arrow on CW as well as the flash but he's an inventor so very odd um, definitely not an inventor there earth 2 
That's a number zero you're looking at there, and there's also two annuals. And as you can see, as I go through this, got some uh, 3D lenticulars here, 15.1, 15.2. I got all of those somewhere. Here's the second annual right there. But right here is the problem, 19 and 21. And uh, they're still coming out with them. I think they were supposed to cancel this around, I don't know, was it 8? <laughs> 18? I don't know. But they kept on making Earth 2, and now it's a very, very big part of the DC Universe. And we also have Trinity War here. Notice how that says Prelude. And that says Prequel. That's uh, in my other vlogs. But this has the Trinity of War and the tie-ins. And then the actual, what I do here, sort of a no-no, but what I do is that even though that's Justice League, it's Trinity War Part 1. And then I have Part 2, Part 3, even though it goes from Justice League America to Justice League Dark. I just wanted to keep them all together. So that's the Trinity War. Now I also have that in hardcover, actually. Um, and this, Brightest Day, is 0 through... 16 I believe yes brightest day and then I have the TPBs volume 2 and 3 to complete that all right people I think that's about it oh what about these are these worth anything these marvels maybe I don't know if you see anything that's worth anything you let me know like dude that's a gem because I don't know here's venom number one apparently that's not worth too much I got an amazing spider-man from 166 God, I must have been four years old. So that's my brother's. Thank you, Donnie. And here's Punisher. Should that go on the Punisher? Do I keep that in Amazing Spider-Man? Or do I put that over into the Punisher pile? Hmm. Let me do this so that people that are watching this go, No! No! Don't do it! And they leave a comment. Sign into YouTube. You should have an account. And then leave a comment. So Tom McFarlane, yeah. Big fan. Actually worked on Spawn the movie. Doing the music with Georgia Cogney. He was my boss. But uh, Spider-Man here with Todd McFarlane. I got one through. Looks like 14. So that was back in the day. Put these back here. And then I got Spawn. One, two, three. Going all the way up to 22. Then I stopped. God, I think they're up to 200s now. 300s maybe for Spawn. Thanos Rising, 1 through 5, also have that in TPB, which is why I'm doing that. I did not know, I just didn't know at the time whether you get TPBs, you get both. But if I ever want to, I go to the shelf and read it. But I need to figure out some sort of way that I can access these and read these again if I ever so desire. <clears throat> Young Avengers, number 1, dropped it. X-Men, number 1, just to have. And then, both of the Edmondsons. This is the male Black Widow, and this is the female Punisher. They are so much the same that I stopped at three on both of them. I think a lot of people would agree with me, but I will be the bold one to say it. Journey into Mystery, I want to know about this uh, Beta Ray Bill guy, so I got uh, four of those. And then the all new uh, X-Men special, oh actually that's the, the Arms of Dr. Octopus. It spans over three different titles. That was just a spinoff there. Um, and then we have Cutter. One through five, I believe. Yes, and I also have that in hardcover. Um, it was a really good story. I liked the way that we watched the art. It wasn't a lot of dialogue. wasn't dense. Um, but they really left it hanging, you know, as they do. But it certainly was, like, something to do later on. I mean, they should have continued it. I don't know. Deathmatch, Paul Jenkins. I really do uh, recommend this. And that goes up to 12. I have all three of the TPBs as well. Because as opposed to others, that was concluded very well. Well thought out, well timed. Versus other ones that I can think of. And I'll be pointing out later that just have a horrible endings. Um, this, this one really had a good ending. Um, I'm a big Valiant fan. And I started with Harbinger Wars. And as you can see, these are sort of out of order, but they're not in terms of reading order. So you do Harbinger Wars 1, Harbinger 11, and then Bloodshot 10, and then you go to Harbinger Wars 2, and then 2, two of the Harbinger Wars, and then you go to Harbinger 12, and then Bloodshot 11. Man, I wish they made it so that it was succinct, and the, the numbers matched up. 
But I had the singles of these, and then since then I went to all TPBs. And these are actually the TPBs that I have not read from Valiant. All the other ones are on my uh, TPB shelf, and that's actually uh, <coughs> the background picture of my YouTube channel. Um, this is a, this is another reason. Look at that. Two, three, and four of hunger. I know I have one somewhere, and it's not this. Because that is a different universe. So I need to find that. Let's hope I do. I don't know. <laughs> Lastly, we have three more. Age of Ultron. What a bunch of shit that was, right? Collected all of it with the tie-ins. Fantastic Four, Superior Spider-Man. All of... Oh, God. All of this till we get to the end. Where's my book 10? That's in black. There it is. And then nothing happens. Like, dude, it's like, as a writer, you should know whatever you do, you don't have at the very end. And then you woke up and it was all a dream. That's what I felt about Age of Ultron. And now it's going to be a movie. Huh, go figure. Then I went into this AI Avengers. Did not like it. I think I dropped it after three. One, two, three. Yep. Huh, how about that, people? I'm already on my way of organizing. <laughs> Woohoo! Hunger, one through four. Put that cataclysm there. Put this here under Age of Ultron. And lastly, people, thank you for watching. I have the Battle of Adam. And this is another time that I keep these cards to let me know which uh, is the reading order. But they did a really good job here with this yellow thing. As opposed to all of those infinity things that you saw over here. They had this yellow border and it was all succinct even though it spanned over across titles. We have all new X-Men, Uncanny X-Men, Wolverine and the X-Men. And then it goes to all new X-Men again as you can see down here. So that's it for Volume 1. Hopefully you liked my voice. But I got a bunch more to do so I'm going to stack these up and somehow get this all nice and organized.